Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 74. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we're here for the Peugeot production showcase. Uh, we got the RCZ, which is a brand new car for this game. Starting off with Silverstone, Top Gear East, Camino Vio de Montserrat, and then Ladera Test Track Full Circuit. Let's get going. It's a very unpopular opinion, but I don't care. I think the Peugeot RCZ is a pretty cool car. So... When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. What a tune. The only thing I don't like about this car in this game, and I have noticed this with uh, Motorsport 4, is some cars don't have the active aero they're supposed to. This is one of those cars that doesn't have the active aero it's supposed to have. Because this has a little lip. Look how cool this interior is, though. Like, it's a nice interior. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. And though you're dead and gone, believe me, your memory will carry on. This is what I mean. I'm, I'm proper, like, enjoying my chemical romance now. Um, sir, that was a grass. Um, Heinz, I don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, remember, this has a rally version, so uh, this car was built for rallying. I can't believe Gran Turismo added an RCZ rally car. Or, like, some of the rally cars that are in Gran Turismo 7 are just like. What? Why is that a rally car? I do give a shit, literally. <laughs> oh, sorry, Solid. Or oh, running. Uh, why did I make that joke? Fuck. <laughs> uh, that genuinely made me feel a little bit sick then. <laughs> No chassis in general dimensions of a 207 Peugeot. Ah, eh, fair enough. And a two-seater version of it as well. I don't think it's got rear seats. Oh no, it does actually have rear seats. There's no way you're fitting anyone in those rear seats though. <laughs> Fit 20 clowns in there. I think the 20 clowns is more uh, believable. Uh, 
Lovely. Ba ba bam bam ba bam bam. Ba ba bam bam ba ba bam bam. Gun fingers in the air. Ba ba bam bam ba bam. I love chasing stayers. Honestly, they are oh, so cool. Liquor and cigarettes got me in a mess. Not right now, I'm up, and I think I feel my best. It is just a straight up punch in the face. This new one, um, this new song that's coming out, I'm really excited for. Everyone that I've shown and asked about it doesn't seem to be as excited as I am. I've shown like three or four people, and all of them are like, oh, it's alright. Not as good as Bad I think it's better than Badadan. I don't think it's as good as liquor and cigarettes. Oh. Yeah, that's that's definitely the grass, sir. See, he thinks he's a rally driver. Said yeah, I said yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I I mean, I'm so hyped for this new song because I think it's unbelievable. It is such a cool song. Bam, 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 bam. Liquor and cigarettes still on my breath. Honestly, I think Badadan is amazing, but I don't think it's as great as everyone hypes it up to be. Like, I, I think it is more a hype train than anything. But like, Badadan, it, it, it is great. Don't get me wrong, it's a great song. It's like a 9 out of 10, but everyone's making it out like it's 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10. It's like phenomenal. I don't think it's that level. I think liquor and cigarettes is a lot better than um, Badadam. Just because it sort of has that. I think Badadam as well is too short. Like, for me personally, I think every good song. If a song that is absolutely amazing is shorter than 4 minutes it can't get a 10 out of 10 because I want if a song is amazing I want to experience that song for as long as possible obviously not too long that it becomes dry but like anywhere between 4 and 6 minutes is what I like hence why I prefer Ray of Solar Extended Mix which is this song to the original because you experience the song for a longer period of time. I mean, some of Daft Punk songs I don't think are that long. Like, I think songs should be long enough that you get to experience it and enjoy it. What's the point in having, like, two and a half minutes of a song that's actually really good and then you get six minutes of a shit one some of them have like ten minutes yeah I suppose some of them are a bit long but so some songs that are out there need extending a hundred percent they need to be longer you, I want to experience a song for a significant amount of time. I don't know how that well that would work, but it would definitely make a very interesting uh, Guitar Hero chart. Badder than, but it just keeps getting badder than the next one. Way. Beep beep. Get out me wee! 
Going up the inside. That's what she said. That's a wall there. What makes Chasing State as interesting is the deep voice parts. That's just Flo Dan. I believe it's Flo Dan. I think it is. He's got quite a deep deep voice when it comes to his lyrics. He's done quite a few with Skrillex. Uh, I think he's recently put one out with Skrillex as well. So... It just depends who they get. I saw um, a Instagram reel of uh, somebody remixing Badadan. And they remix Badadan to the drop of, I believe it's Mr. Happy. Bum, 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 It's an absolute tune as well. Honestly, though, right? It, apparently, this uh, mixtape has ten songs on it. They've teased another two of the songs that are going to be on this album. The other two that they've teased are like they're okay. They're like seven out of tens. Uh, obviously, I haven't heard the whole song, so I can't really post judgment yet. But if the other songs that they haven't released, if even one or two of them are amazing, like 9 out of 10s, I think Chase and Satis quite easily could have album of the year. Like genuinely, they could have an album that is phenomenal. Like we could see top of the album charts. With Chase and Status. That, the, the thought of that is insane. Imagine that. Also, what the fuck have I done? Here we go. My music is working again. Wait. I'll take that. Thank you very much. But yeah, I got um I got introduced to drum and bass through a now album, which basically for anyone that's not in the UK, I don't know if it exists outside of the UK. Um but it's just a compilation album of like top chart hits for like a period of three months. They'll release a now album every four months or something like that. And it was on there. And I proper, I, I vibed with the song. It was, it was a song that I enjoyed. Normally on the Now albums, there was like one or two songs that I would just play on repeat. The rest of them were like, meh, whatever. But there was one or two songs that I would play nonstop. And uh, Pendulum had a song on one of these albums. And that was the first time I ever heard like drum and bass and like actively listened to it. It was Propane Nightmares as well. So uh, it was the Pendulum song. Um, never really properly got into drum and bass. Like, I enjoyed it in, like, video games. Like, I enjoyed the soundtracks, but I never actively, like, listened to drum and bass until about five... No. 
seven or eight years ago, 2015. Uh, and I heard of this artist called Royalston, right? Which normally you don't hear of the obscure artists before listening to a genre of music. But no, I've it was an obscure, like really obscure artist. He still is today. Uh, he's amazing, don't get me wrong, but obviously he's not up there numbers wise. And it is literally just numbers that stops him from getting recognition. I think he's quite possibly level with like a lot of the drum and bass artists that are releasing music today. Like, very good. Um, but yeah, there was a song, it's called Blight Mamba, and it was in both uh, Need for Speed 2015 and uh, Forza Horizon 3. Very much enjoyed this song and started listening to his music and got really excited, really hyped up and whatnot. Uh, Blight Mamba. It's a song that was in... Um, Need for Speed 2015. But yeah, um, that obviously was quite enjoyable. I then uh, started digging deeper into like video game music and noticed a band called The Chemists, right, which was the band that properly kicked off like drum and bass because the chemist was in a lot of racing games and they were in games that I enjoyed like Dirt 2 uh, I believe they were in Motorstorm as well Dirt 2, Motorstorm uh, they were in On Rush, but that was sort of later on and I really enjoyed their music um, I then started listening to Pendulum properly was like, ah, I recognize this song, because obviously it was Propane Nightmares, you had Pendulum from Motorsport 3 and 4, uh, along with The Chemist as well, Chemist was in Motorsport 3 and 4, so again, artists that were featured in other Motorsport games that I recognized, and it just sort of spiraled out of control from there, like, I probably just started listening to drum and bass like mad I had a period of time where I listened to uh, a lot of dubstep as well so uh, this this was between like I had a dubstep phase then a drum and bass phase then a dubstep phase and now drum and bass phase I don't think I'll go back to the dubstep phase because I can't I can't listen to that anymore I only really Skrillex's dubstep songs can I listen to the rest of them are just a bit meh so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.